I'm Brian Dees, and today's topic is the Buffett Rule. Warren Buffett, an American icon, number two on the Forbes list of the wealthiest Americans. He realized recently that he is paying a lower share of his income in taxes than his secretary. Now, Warren Buffett is a smart guy. He realizes that's not right, and that's not fair. But it's not surprising. So take a look at this chart. What you see here is the average tax rate paid by people in the middle 20% of the income bracket, middle income people. Over the last 50 years, it stayed roughly constant. At the same time, you've seen the average tax rate paid by the wealthiest Americans fall dramatically. Take, for example, the top one-tenth of 1%, 1 or the wealthiest one out of every thousand families. Well, you've seen their average tax rate paid fall in half from more than 50% 50 years ago, down to about 25% today. And many of these wealthy Americans are paying even less. Now that's a problem. We're going in the wrong direction. Warren Buffett understands it's a problem. The president understands it's a problem, which is why he's proposed what we're calling the Buffett Rule. Now many of you have seen the TV show The West Wing, and on it there was a character named Will Bailey who used a whiteboard himself to illustrate a tax concept. And I don't have any Emmy Award winning writers, but I'm going to borrow a page out of his book. So let's start with an executive assistant. You have a 35 year old single mother. She works hard, she does her job, and she takes home $49,480. That's a national median salary uh, for executive assistants in the United States. She sits down to do her taxes, she takes out deductions and exclusions, and at the end of the day, she pays an effect effective federal tax rate of 16%. Next, you have a young married couple, a teacher and a cop. They work hard as well. Together, they make $105,000. When they sit down to do their taxes, it works out to 19%. Finally, we have a doctor. The median salary for general pediatrics in this country is $173,900. Married couple on that income works out to 23% of their income. 16, 19, 23. It's the basic core of our progressive tax system. As you earn more in income, you pay a somewhat higher share of your income in taxes. And as Will Bailey points out, it's a concept that's been around for more than a century. Now I'm gonna add an additional group. I'm gonna call them the uber wealthy. The 400 highest earners in 2008, the year with the most recent data. On average, they earned $110 million a year. Just to put that number in perspective, that is a thousand times more than our teacher and our cop. A thousand times. That group, on average, paid, on average, they paid 18%. That's just a little bit more than our executive assistant, it's less than our teacher and our cop, and it's less than our doctor, 18%. And that's just an average. In fact, there are thousands of people making over a million dollars a year that pay far less than this. According to more recent data, there were 22,000 people that made over a million dollars per year who paid less than 15% of their income in taxes, less than all three of the families that we talked about. So this is why we need the Buffett Rule. The Buffett Rule, the President proposed and has now been introduced in the Senate and is pending before that body. What would it do? For our executive assistant, there would be no change in the taxes that they pay. The teacher and cop, they stay the same. The doctor, same thing. But for families making over a million dollars each year, the Buffett Rule would enshrine a basic principle of fairness in our tax code. It would say that those families should pay at least 30% of their income in taxes. So that's it. Simple, basic, and fair. Those who make over a million dollars a year shouldn't pay less than 30% of their income in taxes. Now I know this isn't as funny and fast-paced and witty as a TV show, but this is real life. And millions of families out there, like these three that we talked about, are working hard every day and they deserve a tax code that reflects the principles of fairness and hard work that they hold dear.